On a day like this in Nelson, there aren't many options for alternative renewable energy. The wind isn't blowing very hard and the sun isn't shining. But there is one enormous furnace that never goes out. Its heat can be felt just a few feet underground. And the city is thinking of tapping into geothermal energy. We have uh, let out a contract right now to do a study on the lake, which is right on the edge of our city here, to see what the possibilities are around district heating from that lake, heating and cooling. The plan is to drill a series of holes near the shoreline of Kootenay Lake. There, as it is everywhere, the Earth's temperature is relatively constant, warmer than the air above it in the winter and cooler in the summer. Using a geo-exchange system, the city would extract the heat in the winter and use the lake water in the summer to help cool the air. I'm hoping that we're actually going to look at converting the regional district offices in Nelson to some geothermal use because by 2012 we as a regional district have to start lowering our carbon footprint. This is not new. The rest of the world, especially countries like New Zealand, the Philippines and Japan, have been harnessing geothermal energy for almost half a century. The Geysers plant in Northern California produces enough electricity to power all of San Francisco. And even though BC is in one of the hottest known geothermal regions of the world, you won't find anything like it in this province. Thanks in part to W.A.C. Bennett and all those hydroelectric dams he built in the 60s and 70s. Bottom line is electricity is too cheap in B.C. A private company couldn't get a returnless investment trying to compete with B.C. Hydro. These holes go to three kilometers uh, deep and one of them might cost $10 million. So, but this is the kind of money which is needed to be uh, uh, provided to some extent by the government to uh, start the business. Once the geothermal is up and running and the uh, industry the, sees that it is a, uh, uh, it's a good resource and it is, it's, uh, makes sense uh, financially and, and economically viable, it would uh, stand on its own feet. So what they're wanting to do in Nelson is really quite small in scale, but potentially symbolic, given that BC now imports electricity to meet demand, and for all we know, that electricity could be generated by a coal-burning thermal station. The city believes this proposed project could take a step in the right direction at reducing carbon emissions.